PTSD. And this day is really bad. Same recurring dream. He wakes up, he's sweating, he doesn't know what the hell to do. He decides to help his friend at her coffee shop so his PTSD doesn't really affect him. His mind's busy because he has to pick up his kids. For this guy, he retired to be a dad. So to have some mental issue threatening his freedom, he decided to stay busy. Well, that didn't work so well. So I talk about the first time I ever got 5150. I talk about the first time that they 5250 me without my oh, there's a second approval. Level? Said, no, you're staying. You were like, literally, you're off your rocker and you're staying for a while. So I did another 45 days. And I talk about the process of everything that worked for me at the VA. And I talk about everything that didn't work, which is about 75% of it your first time around because you're not touchy feet. It took me getting re-engaged and you know finding the proper mental health medications which wound up being absolutely none until i found medical marijuana there you go yeah which took me from a 10 to a 2 i'm nicer and i don't cuss as much <laughs> you know my unit doesn't even remember who i am because of not every other word's the f word <laughs> but you know it it's a different life now. So what we have to do as veterans or retired private contractors like myself, we like seriously need to just breathe and find just that little mustard seed of faith in order to get through the next day. Because I'm not trying to get anybody to last the next two years, five years, or 10 years. I want you to pick up my book and just get through the day. Then tomorrow when you wake up, I want you to get through the next day. I don't care about what your plans are for five years from As somebody that struggles from PTSD every single day, every single night, and I only sleep maybe four hours if I'm lucky. And that's usually because I've had to smoke a whole lot of weed to get me there after a flashback. That's when I sleep. And that's just the bitter reality of it. We live a different life. We need a new way to live rather than be angry. Because I was that angry, disgruntled veteran. I wore the veteran there. shirts. I wore so only black. I, I, you know, I wore cargo pants. I was that veteran. I wore the cargo pants with too much crap in it because I got my knife here. I got my flashlight over here. I got two different cell phones for each company. Then I got my kid's cell phone down here. I got a diaper over here. That's what a veteran is. It's a big ball of anger, and once we get out, we have no idea what to do. Wow. So with, through this book, I hope just to give just a little bit of hope and a little bit of faith to any veteran that just reads the first chapter. You know, I made sure that I, I, I kept it very basic. I didn't want to impress people that I got a master's and I could use big words and be like Stephen King. And no, your basic 03 Marine could read this book because guess what? That's what that's who wrote the damn thing. So I made it like me. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I just want you to have hope. I want people to feel just a little bit of hope to open their eyes to more than just calling themselves a veteran. I don't even call myself one. I don't like the label. Because then it's like, oh, well, then people give you special treatment. I didn't enlist for special treatment. I enlisted to escape abuse and to actually be a man and have a role model. I wanted a family. That's what I got. A lot of us, when we get out, we turn our back on our family. We turn our back on other veterans. We're angry. We don't socialize. Not the greatest socializer myself. I sat over there and then I bounced over there. I don't do a lot of people well. But for my veterans, I have no problem standing up here to say, reach out to a veteran. You know, get them the Bible. Get them one a copy of my book. You know, you could download it off my site. It's AJ Parrish. Dot Google or 
who do we switch to? GoDaddy? We just switched websites and we're trying to get our my main domain to GoDaddy now. So we have a temporary website. It's AJ Parish GoDaddy Sites.com. And then it'll switch over in the next week to just AJParish.com. Uh, you can hit our GoFundMe page. You can get on get your, you know, if you lost a loved one to um, suicide and they were a veteran. There's a donation page to where we'll make donations to Weed for Warriors on their behalf and we'll put their name up on the Fallen Hero board. Because even they need recognition. It doesn't matter about the act that took them out of our lives, it's the fact that we ignored them and didn't keep on them to get them the help they needed. Because every single veteran is a stubborn bastard. Every single person. Even the ones that were in the Air Force are stubborn as hell. <coughs> Even Coasties are stubborn. But you got to be on them. You can't turn your back like I did. I've lost 10 of my own after I retired. I lost 32 while I was in. So we seriously need to do something. So if you could, go to the website. Check out the GoFundMe so we can get these books into veteran hands and spread a little bit of hope and love because all, all the hate and the bullshit we have going on and, and literally everybody's just fighting. Everybody's mad. Everybody hates the other party. Like, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even want to be called a freaking Republican anymore. Because half the people in the party are being assholes and popping off at the other party and being assholes. The other party's being assholes, period, and they're just ignorant anyways, and they're yelling at the other party. Nobody's talking. There's no action going. This is the most action I've seen from anybody, you know, and that's thanks to you. We, there's no platform for people to really come out and talk about their differences. So until each party or whatever party gets off their ass, I'm not even going to be in one. I voted for Trump. I did. Yeah. Yeah, don't clap. No. no, you're clapping. We're clapping. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Marine. I will support my president because that's the oath I took when I joined at 18. So I'll do what I'm told because that's, as an American, that's what you do. I don't have to agree with them anymore to be like, oh, yeah, I'm still for Trump. No, I'm for America. Amen. And America wasn't founded on closing our borders. Yeah, we need borders. It keeps the assholes out. What about all the good people that need asylum? What about the good people that have been here for 30 years, working their ass off, make more money than I do? I just sit around and talk all day. They belong here too. If they're not, if they're not causing harm, the lifeboat is full right now, boss. We lost our 29 year First generation from Mexico. I disagree with that one comment. I'm sorry. Are you gonna go pick vegetables? I don't think so. I'm white and I pick vegetables in Salinas and Watsonville. So did I right there in San Jose too, and I'm an American citizen. So I was born here. There, there are the good and there are the bad. Yes, and I'm from a border town, and there's a lot of bad going through Mexico. I don't doubt it. I know that for a fact. Thirty-five percent of the terrorists that come into our country come from the border. CDC has confirmed typhus is an epidemic in in LA right now. 100,000 people a month are leaving Los Angeles more than are going into Los Angeles. We're people not, are fleeing Los Angeles right now. We're not going to agree on anything. Dad came here in 1949 and 51, my mother, when there was real racism, hold on, hold on, never complained. They like did it the right way. So we're, we're not going to agree on everything. Just me. I, we're not going to agree on everything. I don't I don't I don't bother I get paid regardless of how this goes. So, I know we disagree. No, dude, I got the Constitution right here. Page 14, Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution. It says we have the right to a sovereign border. Here, this is So you're just wrong. I like your whole thing. I like your spiel. You're wrong on that one. 
I think I retreated. He's the last thing. Well, unfortunately, I'm human, so I know I'm, a right, I'm wrong about a whole bunch of stuff. And if that's something I'm wrong on, well, I guess there's bigger yeah, there things I can, I, I can worry about. Yeah. If that's the one thing I'm wrong on. You know, but typhus, typhoid, all these different diseases that they say are coming over here. It's like, guess what? We can fix that. We can't fix a hateful soul and stupidity. So, I'll end there before I get too heated. Because I do this for a living and I don't want to tear anybody up. Today. But thank you all. Look, just have a little bit of hope and love. And dude, like, when, when Jesus said, I want you to love your neighbor. He didn't say, I want, to I want you to love your neighbor, but he's got to be white and rich and live in a certain house and well, this and that. You have to be an American. He's got to be Roman. He didn't even say, you got to love Americans only either. No, he, he said, love everybody. So no. think about how, how you want to represent yourself. I know it. So you can tell everybody else that, not me. I'm from a border town. Well, my pen name may be uh, white sounding and Jewish, but I'm half Mexican. And I, I, I believe that everybody who does it right should stay here. That does it right. Amen. If it's illegal, it's illegal. But you know what? That that's a whole different thing. I'm just saying, stop hating, fucking people. No, no hating. Stop hating. No hating. Just you know, with the just right it's a perfect time to yell. Open up the dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you very much. <laughs> Check out the website, and I hope you uh, see you guys soon. Stop hating that fuzz. Okay, so that was AJ Parrish. He's our Christian author. Uh, Mr. Hanna, if you can come up and please give a speak and talk about uh, New California. Jeffrey, thank you.